Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are once again back here in Satisfactory and we've been playing with the um, Blueprint Maker. And um, yeah, I've only made a part of it, um, less than I wanted to. Uh, come on. Okay, I can't get an overview. So this is only a 4x4, four four. I thought it was a 5x5, five five. then I realized, oh wait, it takes us up a 5x5 five five section. I, um, we have now a few blueprints. We have the the one that goes to the left, the one that goes to the right. I don't know how we can delete it. And then we have this one with the tubes. So it's that in little bit of intersection. So we can plump it down and it should give us the intersection we require with the cables, with everything. So it's actually a little bit expensive. <laughs> with all these stuff, but it's all right. Um, we must just make sure we have everything and Usually it looks like we do because I didn't go get any special resources and I could make it no problem So this will now be our intersection that we Use and then we just connect it to the rest. So um, The problem is because it's only four and not five We can't get the next section up so I'm going to make a another section, the section that comes after this. Okay, so let me run to that part and I'll show you which part I'm talking about. Okay, here we are. So the only part I could make is from this corner to there and from to there. So I could only make this little area. So I wanted to add this part as well so that we have this whole section. But, yeah, it looks like we can't get that. So we have... Oh, do I need to go up one higher? Okay, cool. I'll edit it so it goes up one higher. And then it ends right here. So the next section I'm going to make is this one, two, three, four. So that we have this section already pre-configured. Okay, so that we have this part. And then we can just join this part and that part. And then we remem must remember to have this power cable. So let me take a screenshot. I'll see if I can get in f all four. Yes, that will work. Screenshot done. Okay, so let's go break down that one. Okay, so as I said, this one must go up one higher. Okay, yes, and then we save it. Save blueprint, confirm. Okay, then we clear designer, grab resources, and now it's the next section. So we will go one, two, three. four and three wide okay that's correct yes okay so this side oh, sorry about that and this side we should have then now wait first this one okay and then tubes where's the tubes and number four. Oh no. So it's first this one. Okay, and then we place this one. Okay, and then the top one because that's where a thing gonna run. And then just so that we have everything that we will have in that intersection and then does it okay I think that's that let's configure it we'll say um, intersection with tubes part 2 or extended let's call it extended extended oh 
Okay, just like that. The it. What's going? Where are we going? Call it uh, next port, next section of the intersection with tubes. Okay, select icon. Uh, we're going to. Let's select that one and then select color, blood preset, royal, select color, say blueprint. Okay, so let's go try this out. Um, nope. Clear designer, take all. Okay. So where are we going to place this? Actually, this will work. So let's say this intersection we want to continue that way. And let's go here, blueprints. I want to go to nine. Um, I want to place this on one, that one on two. Okay. So one. goes there. Right? Yes. Of course this is a 5x5 five five. and then we just need to do this at this one and then we come back and then we choose the second part. Oh, what do I need? Concrete. Let me go grab concrete. Yeah, I think that looks good. As I said, then we need to take two, pull that in, I wonder if the audio was correct there, I saw a jump in my recording software, sorry if there's anything issue, but it uh, should be fine, then we can go back to power, so power just connects from there to there, and from there it goes there, and then, what am I pressing? Something is funky. Um, goes there, and then we're good. So that's the only setup. Oh, wait, and then also, whichever which one we need to connect. And that's it. Great stuff. Let's see. <gasps> holy egg, holy egg, holy egg. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that one. <laughs> well, we know that gives us something. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't think that one through properly. <laughs> anyway, that was fun on the least. Okay, let's get back up there because I don't want the intersection there. Now that I think about it, I need to make the mirror for the other side. Okay, well, let me break down this. So this is going to be fun because <laughs> everything needs to be done by hand. Oh, fun stuff. Okay, let me break this down, then I'll load up the blueprints. And then we can do the reverse. I'm thinking um, we don't need the intersection to be over there. We need we can have it here, so that the travel time is um, to have a grid further or bigger apart. Especially the tube. Look how short the tube is. Then we'll have multiple jumps. So the longer the sections are in between each other, the further we can travel per tube. And this one isn't really needed. This section over here. Um, because we travel, most of the things travel on that f speed, so we can just take the um, coal either running down the water or it, we feed it to this bridge and um, branch off of there because there's a big intersection over there. Because that one, um, nope, map, is over here about and it runs down to here as well. 
it runs down to the steel steel area over there so which this one doesn't go over to the steel otherwise we're going to have so many bridges in, in the air and it's not going to be even funny I mean we can rather have a slope from here going down so that we can access it here and the space elevator can be fine there or something we'll figure it out but yes I think I'm going to move all or that whole line over to this side or maybe I have to move this whole line maybe have it in between these two and then we can get the um, sulfur in the middle and bring it over Okay, so let's load up um, load blueprint. So we will use this one. So just a reverse. So we're going to break this one. Get to our tube section for. again that's nice that that worked out then we break down these two oops there's more okay and we'll save this one as or for reversed okay say blueprint okay load blueprint this one please okay now we're going to have This is where we're going to have only this one, this one, and this one. Okay, cool. Tubes is here. Three. You go there. Nope, we still need you. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay. So this will make our life easier because we'll use the same junction not only in intersections but also f for like we did there. Um, the difference is we'll just break down that one wing that... I oh know we need concrete. Okay, no worries. We can break it down here. Um, and what we can also do is just a 3x4 section so that we, when we build bridges that we build it much quicker than placing one at a time so that's 12 at a time that will speed things up 12 times literally 12 times okay so now we need to remove these because that's the other side remember and then we need to go place this one's here. And I'm not done with the other part yet. Just want to make sure I have this going. And this back to tubes. Then we can finish our in inlets back to power so power comes to here you go to number one you go number two 
You go there, then you go there, you go there, and you go there. Okay, I think that's sorted. Okay, save as reversed. Save. Now I think it's going to be easier just to clear the designer and just take all and bold. The three by four. Then it is to break down everything. There we go. Okay, let's go to blueprints and so this is number one, this is reversed. This is number three and this is reversed. Okay, cool. Cool. And then we're going to save this blueprint. Um, I'm just going to call it a 3x4 bridge. And obviously we can have it anywhere, so it doesn't matter. Um, select the icon. Is there a foundation? Foundation, select image, select color, load preset. Save the blueprint. Okay, and then we go back to our blueprints and we save that as number five. Okay, now take all. Nope, sorry. First clear. There was nothing to take. I don't even know why I pressed it. Okay, so that was fun. So now we can actually let's let's start with the the new intersection. Whoops! Didn't watch where I was going. I was looking at the time, so I know where to go. So I'm going to use the existing power lines because I don't don't want to redo the whole power line that side. Okay, so this will be the intersection, and we'll just have a ramp going down to go get the. What do you call it? The sulfur. Okay, so let's load. So you must be. Come on. Why do you do this? Nope, we have, or do we have, no, we have it wrong. Ah, uh, or not. One, two, three, so a power line will be on this row. Yeah, no, no, we're good. We are good. Okay, and then we just place one here. And now it's the second part, so it's number three. What are you doing there? Oh, it was just a visual glitch. I was just wondering what take. Okay, and then we can use five. And we will continue this line. As far as needed. I wonder what happens. Um, if you try to build where there's already a platform or a port. Why? Oh, wait. What did we do here? Okay, we must just be careful for alignment, it seems. 
but generally that's the idea. Look how quick we got the bridge going. Bummer that we aligned it um, poorly. Let's try that one again. So that's number five. Race, yeah, the race is aligned properly. Cool. And then five again. Aligned properly. Then we can do this one. And this one. Okay, now you see this is now where we're going to have the fun part. Oh, wait, let's see what happens when we want to build. Oh. It's already there. Ah, bummer. Okay. So we need to clear a four area. One, two, three, four. So this is only if you come from that side. If you do that, then it should be good. So now we... Oh, nope. This way. Missing. Oh, I'm missing resources. Okay, let me grab the resources. So it's in case beams that we need. Okay, cool. Let me grab some and then I'll come back. Okay, I think we are good. Um, got that. Let's just bring out number five. This time it's properly aligned. Great. Okay, so we want to have intersection with tubes reversed. So let's turn it around. Uh, looks good, right? Yes. Okay, and then we want the reversed one of that. There we go. So now you have your power cables. So now we just connect them. Chup, chup. And... We connect the tubes. Done and dusted. So that's a whole first part of the intersection done and dusted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this intersection. Why did the fuse break? That's not connected though. Right, it's not connected. This is as well. Why did we lose power? Oh, maybe that one. No. That is producing power. Oh, it's a concrete. Yeah, a concrete. Okay, good. Almost. <laughs> that gave me a fright. Okay, so what I'll do off cam is um, this intersection here as well. I'm going to move it over almost to the edge where that one is. So, because I don't want, I want to extend this tube a little bit. This is too short of a tube. Um, the whole idea was that that is close to the hub, but uh, we don't need it there. So, it's fine. Um, I'll move everything to this side. And move this over, this intersection over to connect from there to there. So it's closer there. And then this will be the main intersection, basically. And then it crosses there. Well, not really cross there. No, there won't be an intersection. It will just be the start going to that intersection. If that makes sense. But in the next episode, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about and what I wonder what I meant I'm um, sorry I tend to talk confusingly or whatever you want to say that um, I think faster than I am able to speak and keep up so yeah anyway <laughs> well I'll come and show you next time so this is tube won't be here it will be basically over there with that that um, support is and it will go over to there uh, we'll still have a miner there uh, we'll just 
change it around a bit to be able to accommodate the new setup okay does that make sense i hope so um water i'm not sure what to do or liquids because liquid need <coughs> excuse me power for a lift and i don't know where's a water pump 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 pipeline pump only four megawatts isn't that bad however i 20 meters so that's five can be attached to a pipeline to apply head lift maximum head lift 20 meters allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upward okay in and out direction note head lift does not stack so space between pumps is recommended oh okay So they do not stack. Now tell me. Oh cool, look at that <laughs> water point showing which way to go. Okay, cool. So it does not stack. That's important to remember. So every 20 meters you have to place one. So hmm. So I'm just thinking, maybe we should redesign this whole hypertube thing. How many liquids is there in a the game? I don't know. I know there's a ton of different metals. We need that. So I'm thinking maybe the hypertube we make a separate separate section this side and use that bought only for resources and liquid because now we'll have a stackable liquid as well oh I'm not sure I'll have to redo everything at the end of the day it seems okay but no let's not do jump to conclusions now if we do have to change things around um, we will do it otherwise we'll just have a sub floor just for liquids that might work that might work pretty much basically what we did there we have liquids in the sub floor and then the higher level for the resources and pretty much what we did here as well there's two floors the liquid floor is a little bit lower so we might do that, we can do that. Anyway, we're going, I'm rambling again and just going, talking nonsense again. So let's call it the episode. Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, playing around with the blueprints is fun. So that's a new um, venue we can take for building. So that's cool. But yeah, so thank you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate that a bunch. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!